Hello everyone, this is Miss Iman from The Knowledge Land. Welcome back. Before we start our video today, I, I'd like to give you some information about myself. I am a mom of six years old girl and four years old boy. I've been teaching for 18 years. Yes, 18 years in different grade levels. I'm here with you to share my experience, my insights and my ideas and I hope you found you find them beneficial. So our videos today will cover the addition and subtraction concepts, or mainly the addition, but you can implement the same strategies that I will introduce today in the subtraction theme. So um, I'll be sharing different hands-on activities that you can develop or you can incorporate in your lesson to help the child understand more about addition and subtraction. I just want to explain that hands-on activities help children to make connections between concepts, develop problem-solving skills, and make things more interesting and enjoyable. So the first thing that I would like to introduce today is this addition and subtraction chart. And the reason why I made this chart is because I'd like to keep something or like reference for the kids in their math folders so whenever we want to review we can pass it through all these strategies and explain how can we use or what ways can we use to add and subtract. So the first strategy that you can use with your child today is the 10 frames um, strategy. And the second one is the number line. The third is use your fingers, both fingers and hands. The fourth is to draw pictures or dots. The fifth is to use the cubes or any other kinds of manipul manipulatives, maybe counters if, it's, if they are available. And the last one is to put the big number on the head and then count on. So let's get started with the first game that I prepared for today. The first game that I prepared for the for today is this game. Actually, I found this printable in the internet, but I because we have these fish, I I like to make it like a game. So the child can play this independently or with a partner. So here we have two group of additional flashcards, and this is what these are the kind of flashcards I use here at home. So we can um, the child you can put two groups of a flashcards. The child will be asked to read the equation, and it's very important to read the equation. So the child will start two plus five, and then he will represent it here. We have two fish and five more. Then he will write the equation down and then we'll find the sum. He will count 2 plus 5 equal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's very, very, very important that you start your addition theme with something like this, with any game like this, because it makes um, the concepts more understandable. So um, when the child does this right, he will get one point. If he does it wrong, you, he will be asked to do it again and to count the number of fish. Then the other one will take it from here. So we have a three fish. These are three fish. And then we have two more. He will write down the equation and then he will count the number of fish that he got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 3 plus 2, 5, and then they can change their cards. The second strategy that we will be um, talking about today, or this game, is called Build Then Add. So um, I usually have all the cards, all the equations that I want them to solve on the back. So what they will be asked for is to take um, the equation number like the five uh, equations and place them here and then they can use any kind of manipulatives the small manipulatives to represent the equation on the 10 frames because I have the 10 frames here in my house they find it funny so um, I, I made the first one for you just to to give an example of how they are doing it so this is 2 plus 4 and then they will write 6 over here. So 2 plus 4 equals 6. What they can do here, sometimes they can use a play do they can use a small objects to represent it on the 10 frames instead of this one. The third strategy is the number line. 
and I really like the number line I make I feel that the student um, can see or can examine their knowledge about what comes first what comes uh, what comes sorry what comes after what comes before and how to go forward or backward using which concept so for addition the rabbit hops forward for the subtraction the rabbit hops backward and you will find all these activities in the description bo box below um, just make sure to go to the description box and find these activities if you're interested. So what the child will be asked for is to find the bigger number, which is seven here in this equation, circle it, and then he will try to hop three times forward because this is an addition. So seven plus three equal 10, six plus two equal eight. So he will circle six and he will hop two times forward because this is an addition and he will find the sum. For the subtraction, this is different, so um, he will hop backward. Let's take the first example here, 5 minus 2, so he will, uh, the child will circle number 5, and then he will try to move backward two times to get the, um, to get the number. So this is 5 minus 2 equal a 3. So in this document, you will find one paper for addition, one paper for subtraction, and the other one is like mixed equations. The, um, I'll put this aside. So number four today is going to be this one here, this uh, game, and it's called Use Your Fingers to Check Whether These Equations Are Right or Wrong. So use your fingers, this means that the child can use his fingers in both hands or he can put the big number on the head and count on with a small number on the hand. So let's make in the first one so you can see. 2 plus 7 equals 9. He cannot use two hands here, so what he will do is to put the number 7 on the head because this is the bigger, represent 2 on uh, in his hand, so what comes after 7, 8, 9, so this is true this is right so we will circle thumb up the other one he can use both hands so 4 plus 5 equal 8 no it's equal 9 so he will circle thumb down and so on so in this document you will find the first one um, different equation but here you will find the doubles so 1 plus 1 equal 2 yes 1 plus 1 equal 2 thumb up the um, the fifth, the fifth game that I'll present today for you is called Roll, Draw, and Add. And what the child will be asked to do is he will roll the dice, get the number. So this is number one, this is one number one. He will draw here one dot, one dot, write the equation down, one plus one, and get the sum. One plus one equal two. Then roll the dice again, three plus four. So he will represent three here, he will draw three dots here, four dots here, write down the equation and find the sum. And this is a very interesting game by the way. They like it and sometimes they can get two papers of this So um, to make it like a group game. The, um, the next game that I'll present for you today is this one and also this one I found it as, um, as a principle and I will link the description in the description box below where you can get this one. So I cut out the paper, this part, and I laminate it so the child can use it. And then I found this number line. This is amazing one. This is amazing craft, and I made it for them so uh, they can use it with this game. So let's read the first equation. The first equation is 6 plus 4. So what they will do is to bring the bead down to number 6. So here is number 6. And then we need to move forward four times. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4. So 6 plus 4 equal 10. So they will get this scoop and put it over the ice cream over here. So the second equation, 2 plus 4, so the bead will go down to number 2, or if, um, if it's better, I feel it's better to go to number 4 because this is the bigger number, and move 2 times forward. So this is number 6, so he will take this and find number 6 and put it down here. So 2 plus 0, it will go to number 2 again. 
so this is number two and then because it's zero the bead will not move forward anymore so the scoop go with no, with number two ice cream so in this printable you will find one two three four five six pages and you can use this one too i'll link it below um, with any other kind of printable that I showed you before or any other kind of games that I showed you before and the last one that I'll be sharing with you today is this game so it's not a game actually it's like um, a summary of all the strategies that we have been trying to do and it's an example about a word uh, problem so what I do, you what I usually do is I read the word problem. I ate three apples, so she will circle or he will circle uh, number three. Then I ate two more, so he will circle number two. How many apples did I eat altogether? Because there is a word altogether. This means addition. So the child will represent for you by drawing the apples, the number of apples by um, using the number line strategy so he will circle number three because this is the bigger number and he will go forward two times he will use the 10 frames to represent for you um, to represent for you um, the word problem he will use the equation to write three plus two equal five the answer is five apples and he will try to trace um, apples the word apples over here and um, I really find that these um, these equations are very these games are very helpful for my kids and we usually do it and I have another one for subtraction uh, you can use this these strategies with addition and subtraction too so you guys if you like my videos please make sure to hit the subscribe button below like it, comment, leave a comment, and um, turn on the notification button so whenever I post something, you receive a notification. Thank you for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.